today I'm going to speak to you about outside playing. Um, so playing the notes that aren't in the scale necessarily um, in a rock context um, and we will approach this by looking at a few jazz ideas. Um, so for me uh, an outside line might be something like <laughs> lots of them um, and all of those are all going to come from jazz so if we take a look at a basic harmonized scale we should get something like C major D minor E minor F major 7 a G dominant 7 to an A minor 7 B minor 7 flat 5 to the C and if we take 2 D minor 7 G dominant 7 that's the 5 C major 7, which is the 1, we have the corner post of all jazz progressions. Look at any jazz tune and it will be literally literally littered with 2 five ones, and, and they give you this sort of sound. idea that we take from this as a jazz player would is when we play the five chord G dominant seven we can stick alterations into it. Now the reason the dominant seven chord works so well going to the one is because of the tritone we have in it. Uh, you might have heard Jeff Buckley singing about it. I heard there was a secret chord in that verse of Hallelujah. Um, it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor four the major lift and that's in reference to the minor seven in the chord and the major third. It's a pretty tense sound. And it resolves the minor seven falling the semitone and the major third rising the semitone. Um, so it's the basic principle of tension and resolution, which is so prominent in jazz. Um, so if we look at that 7 chord, we can add other alterations to it there. I mean, after all, in a scale there's 7 notes, so well, in a chromatic scale there's, there's 12 notes, so there's not that many others you can add to the scale and add to this particular chord in order to make it outward. Um, in short, you can add them all by the major 7, which doesn't really work so well because it's already got this in. If you stick a major 7 in there, you're going to start getting some really ugly sounds. That's too ugly. Uh, but we can add the sharp 5, which resolves really well. We can add the flat 5, we'll play it to a C major 9. We can add the flat 9, which is this note up here, one up from the root. So, Add the sharp nine, which is the snow up here. We can play that like that, um, and then you can add all sorts of combinations. So a sharp five and a flat nine this is a particularly nice chord. Um, a sharp five, sharp nine. You could add flat flat five and the flat nine. If I just play around with these, you'll start hearing jazz, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you.
and when a jazz player would solo over this sort of progression you're looking at lines that are going to really uh, exaggerate these changes so you're going to hear a lot of which would be which would be an augmented triad uh, because an augmented obviously has a sharp 5 it really highlights that sharp 5 you'll hear a lot of half whole scale, diminished scale because that brings out the flat 9 uh, and the sharp 9 and also the flat 5 doesn't really do much for the uh, sharp 5 um, and then you'll also get super Locrian mode which is the last mode of the melodic minor scale which will give you every single alteration um, so let me just give you two, three jazz lines